Rock Now senior wide receiver Josh Brake had quite the holiday weekend. Not only did he help lift the Bison to their first victory of the season with a 42-38 home win over VMI, but he also captured the hearts of teammates and friends with the announcement of an engagement to his girlfriend Abby Flaherty. Josh joins the PLN today via Skype to talk about what he has called the best weekend of his life. Hey Josh, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Good, thank you. So first of all, congrats on the engagement and the stellar performance you had in the home opener last weekend. Oh, thank you. Crazy, crazy, but... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good stuff going on. So how did you pop the question? Um, actually, we had, so Friday night before games, we have meetings at 8 o'clock, and then um, I had a friend actually set up a picnic during those meetings, and so it was like a blanket with a bunch of like open flame candles around it, and it's actually really neat. It's, it's actually kind of a funny story to tell, though, because as we were driving up to it, she thought we were going on a date, but I drove there instead. And then uh, actually a, a Bucknell police officer pulled up to the blankets with the flames. And long story, I won't go into the long story, but long story short, he actually made me blow out every single candle before I even popped the question. <laughs> so it didn't ruin the night, but it would have been nice to have those candles lit, but it's kind of a funny story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, it turned out okay, though. Oh, yeah, it turned out perfect. So do you think your engagement fueled your passion for the game on Saturday? I definitely think, I mean, it didn't hurt it, that's for sure. I mean, um, I was very excited. I was, I, I was originally planning on doing a Saturday night after the game. Um, but I would have been thinking about that the whole time during the game. So I wanted to, to kind of get it off my chest, so to speak, and, and really be able to enjoy the weekend, enjoy football while I'm, uh, enjoy the game. So it definitely did help take some pressure off. And uh, um, yeah, it definitely helped me a little bit. Can you talk about your first touchdown in the second quarter? How did that play unfold? It was just a three by one set. I was one on one on the backside and we knew that it was just gonna be me on, on the corner because we saw some strong rotation going on, some things in the defense that we knew that was gonna be one on one. So I gave RJ a signal. I told him that I was gonna run um, what we call a stutter route, which is um, 10 yards, break down, and then act like you're running a curl route and then just keep going. And that's what I ran and he bit on it hard. And RJ gave me a perfect ball right in, right in stride, didn't even have to adjust to it. So. Uh, it was just, it just everything worked perfectly. The offensive line obviously blocked their butts off. So uh, yeah, it, it was a, it was a good offensive play. And later in the game, your 62-yard punt return broke a 35-35 tie in the fourth quarter and sealed the win for Bucknell. Was that sheer instinct, or do you think you could credit some of that adrenaline to your fiance? Um, some of that can definitely go to my fiance. Um, uh, I think a lot of it can go to my coaching. Um, they, they really trust me back there, like whether or not I should fair catch or whether or not I should just go with it. And so I kind of just trusted it. I trusted the fact that there wasn't going to be anybody in front of me. I felt people to my sides, but not really anybody right in front of me. So I took, I just caught it and then I just kind of went with it. Uh, I saw some people, made some moves, and then I, it was like a safe look, so we didn't have a return set up. But there was really good blocking, which was I was kind of surprised to see nobody on the right side of the field. Um, so it was, it was just, like I said, it was a good offensive play. It was a good special teams play. Everyone kind of did their part. It was great to watch, too. So looking ahead to this weekend's game and the season, what can we expect to see from you and your teammates moving forward? Um, well, the first one was very encouraging, especially to see RJ um, step up and play the well, play as well as he did. Um, our offensive line, very experienced. We're very excited for this coming um, this coming uh, season. You know, the seniors on the line, the se me, and then, and then even RJ's plan as an older guy kind of so like we have a lot of good leadership and we're really excited to see uh, where that leadership will take us i think it can take us pretty far well thanks josh so much for joining us congratulations again and best of luck this season thank you so much i appreciate that